Oh, hey guys. Uh, glad you could make it. Uh, we were just talking about movies that are really bad, but really good. Uh, if that makes any sense to you at all. Um, what? Well, Baron, why don't you give him an example? A good example? Or a bad example? A good example of a bad movie, which is so bad that it's good. That it's awesome? Uh, it's one of my favorites. Uh, Python. <gasps> Python? Python. Is that like Anaconda? Much, much worse. No, I remember better. that. Yeah, it had uh, it had uh, Jenny McCarthy <gasps> and Will Wheaton. Oh my God! Is well, that? I remember <gasps> Wheaton, Will Wheaton. She does the things. Will, yeah, Will <laughs> Wheaton was in um, Star Trek. <laughs> yes, yes, he was a little nerdy kid that everyone hated. Yeah, he, yeah, he right. actually hates him. But well, I think you're right. Isn't he, he's on a show right now the, with movie. where things explode, or theoretically. Weezy that Waiter. movie is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Easy way here, right? um, yeah, explosion. No, explosion. <laughs> no, Jenny yeah. McCarthy is awesome in that movie. She does oh. the, the facial expressions like, <gasps> and um, she does her mouth like that. It's awesome. And Robert Robert Unglund. Uh, oh yeah, yeah Freddy. Freddy. Freddy Krueger was also in that movie. Oh, it was awesome. First of all, the king of B movies <laughs> is Bruce Campbell. Heck yes, <gasps> Bruce Campbell's awesome. Uh, yeah. Did you know he turned on the role of the roach guy in Men in Black? To be an atomic tornado. <laughs> How awesome is that? Atomic tornado! <laughs> Seen that? Hey, I have that. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it was like, hmm, let me have a choice here. Men in Black being paid millions of dollars. Or, or being in an tornado. atomic tornado. I think he I, made the right I choice. I think he made the right <laughs> choice as well. <laughs> I think I like the atomic tornado better. Good on you, Bruce. Good on you. <laughs> Booyah. <laughs> Bruce Campbell. Showdown in I, Tokyo. That one's awesome, too. <laughs> <laughs> we're going way back. With the Wayback Machine, that's how far we're going. <laughs> way back. You know who's in that one? Dolph Lundgren. All right. <laughs> Brandon and, Lee. And Brandon Lee. Woo! <laughs> this is before The Crow, I believe. <laughs> they, so, um, where he redeems himself for um, Showdown in Little Tokyo. No, or that, wait. Yeah, if, Showdown in Little Tokyo. If there was ever a movie that they needed to hire the fashion police... It would be that, one. That, that was uh, wow. You will not be able to hear most of the dialogue in Showdown in Little Tokyo because <laughs> the shirts the sh are too loud. The shirts are entirely too loud. <laughs> and then just in case you can hear a little bit, the ties are even louder. Just to let you know. Oh, by the way, apparently um, Dolph Lundgren in this movie uh, is going to commit suicide because he puts the bandana across his head like that, which only means that you're not coming back from wherever you're going to. <laughs> but he, he what, what was that? We, okay, so you're not what? Wait a not second. That's not how I understood it. Too. That's not how I understood it from Karate Kid. <laughs> you can't well, tell me two movies had it wrong. Okay, well, that movie awesome was movie. bad, not in a good way. <laughs> Karate Kid. Yeah, then you get to see Mr. Miyagi. Ralph Macchio. <laughs> Ralph Macchio. You mean the sexiest man alive? <laughs> For me to poop on. Zombie strippers. Zombie. <laughs> Wait, didn't that also have Jenny McCarthy? Yeah, no, yes. it had no. Jenna Jameson. Gen oh, that, I've got that my Jenna's backwards. As yeah. long as they're hot, I don't care. No, yeah. Zombie Strippers was so bad. What happened? I've never seen it. <laughs> I, I, think, I think the title says it Zombie all. Zombie Strippers. Dude. Okay, the basic the basic idea between, behind the, the, the movie is that there's a zombie apocalypse. There's yes. zombies everywhere. However, strip clubs still need to be open. <laughs> With the zombie apocalypse. So they, they, so they can go get so they drunk. So they hire... Hot looking zombies to strip for guys. And their skins and falling the off like, yeah, and their burns are showing. Like, we're living dead. It's so hot. And then it just. Which um, is nasty. Yeah. Does that say something about guys more than it does zombies? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you got it. You got it. <laughs> Oh. That the world this is, is ending gross. zombie apocalypse and we still want to see girls. And no, the, the worst part, up. The worst part is throughout the movie, there, there's like varying states of decom decomposition while they're stripping. So like, there's oh. actually, so they actually have guys that are all like, dude, she's like, you can see her rib cage for real. It's so hot. Oh, and it's like boob, and it's like oh, like. Oh, nasty skin. I don't want to do Are you sure this is a good thing? <laughs> no, it, it's like you're sitting it's there a, and you're like, this is so bad. It's, it's great! It's actually pretty funny, dude. I'm not it, sure if I want to see lot, it. It's a lot funnier than Frankenfish. Do you remember that one? Frankenfish. I know Sharktopus. <laughs> <laughs> Does that count as Frankenfish? Or Mansquito. Ooh. <laughs> Mansquito, which we watch every sci-fi, well, every summer here. No, Mans Mansquito bad. 
Man, that was, was not a good bad. That was just flat out bad. Oh, Apocalypse of the Dead. <laughs> the greatest movie of all time. And here's why, okay? First of all, the acting's horrible. <laughs> but there's a scene. You know when you dive, you know, to the side, you're like... <laughs> Right? Let me try that again. Okay. So, um, the guy does that, but he doesn't dive behind anything. He didn't actually <laughs> dive from anything. He's in, out like in the middle of a field. No, no, just, it's, in, it's in a room. It's in so a room. Yeah, it's he, in a room. He comes through the door and there's tables and it's like... He dives he from over. cover to the middle of the room. That is, Shoot, so, he's diving to the, so he shoots, he falls on his shoulder... In the middle of the room, then he has to stand up and run back to cover. <laughs> why, why, why do we do this? It makes no sense. Oh, oh, okay, okay. So they're they're walking and they have to dodge uh, zombies, right? Because Fox is dead, and and they're talking. But there's another character there who isn't totally sure of what to do because <laughs> he has no lines. So he keeps doing this <laughs> with the, with the hands out. Oh, is there a zombie over there? What? what? No, but what, what? I can say one good thing: the zombies looked. Awesome. Oh, zom- that's yes. where all the money went. <laughs> second, no, second, or was it third? Third most expensive movie to come out of Scandinavia. Thank you. <laughs> Scandinavia. In, in two years, and apparently the whole budget went three to, years. Three years. <laughs> zombies were the whole budget. That's that's what happened. They looked that's what awesome. Happened. <laughs> it didn't definitely. Good didn't job, Scandinavia. Well. Choreographing the uh, the the shootout scene. Oh, uh, Space Mutiny. Yeah, Space, space Mutiny. Mutiny. Have, have you seen the, the, the Space Mutiny? Have you seen that one? Have Mutiny? you seen that one? Has, any, has anybody seen Space Mutiny? All right, th- this this is how bad Space Mutiny is. They. Oh, well, then why don't you raise your hand? I have. Oh, I've seen it. The, the okay. <laughs> so the entire the 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 entire movie takes place on on spaceships, which are exactly three <laughs> sets. In a in a basement? No, rip uh, off of Battlestar Galactica. Like all the special effects, <laughs> the space sequences for showing the showing the actual um, uh, spaceships in space, they actually used the Battlestar Galactica, the original series. They wow. they used clips from that show <laughs> to show like direct <laughs> clips. They, it, was, it was it was awful. They recycled clips. They recycled <laughs> like yeah, blatantly. Nice. And the oh, rest good. of the movie <laughs> takes place in what's obviously the basement of a factory. <laughs> Uh, so it's like the boiler room. It's like that's that's the spaceship. It's like oh, this and there's catwalks everywhere. Just everywhere you turn, there's a catwalk. There was catwalks where they did not need to be catwalks. Were there cats in those? There walls? were there railings and every no, Do no cats. Do turn on Oddly. the catwalk? Oh, so the, <laughs> was that a zombie stripper move that you were in there? <laughs> no, uh, I would have been so ripping my flesh this, off. This movie was so bad that <laughs> they killed off a character in one scene. And the next scene, <laughs> she was back at her workstation. <laughs> not, not, you know, not, it, not even five minutes later. It's like, but hey, the that's next the same scene. girl. What did she do? Did she just she die? She just died. <laughs> yeah, that. <laughs> there's a chase scene in this movie where they actually, uh, it looks like they actually got golf carts, is what it looks like they did, and they actually put like space age looking. Uh, like silver cardboard <laughs> around it to make it look like it's some it's aluminum foil. And so there's there's a high speed chase <laughs> on, on golf these course. vehicles, which is uh, where they obviously filmed up the the like sped up the <laughs> sped up the film so it looks like they're going faster. And they, and and, they, and there's a giant explosion. And during this chase, explosion. <laughs> no, thanks, no. easy. And the, the <laughs> so they. The, the, during the explosion, then the guy leaps off of his golf cart, uh, futuristic golf cart thing. He leaps off to the side and then yells, Yeah! <laughs> High pitched girly voice. It's awful. No, but, but the chicks, yeah. the chicks in this movie, they're wearing like workout outfits. Like, <laughs> it's like spandex workout outfits, like from the 80s. All they need is like well, leg it, warmers. The, it was like, from the Whoa! 80s, but. No, in the in the oh no, the chick, the main chick in this movie, she looked like she was like fifty. <laughs> she she had the face of a fifty year old woman, but she was but obvious. Debbie she, Reynolds. She she looked like. Debbie. <laughs> ah. Yeah, that was a bad one. Sorry. Um, I got a question. <laughs> Who's Debbie Reynolds? <laughs> I feel kind of left out on this one. Well, you can watch uh, Space Mutiny, and at least you'll oh, know what she looks like. Okay. Yeah. So uh, we're just curious as to what movies you guys had seen, because we're looking for some new ones. Uh, you know, so just leave your comments or 
something like that down, you know, where should we leave them? Down below. Yeah, where, where she said that. That sounded <laughs> sexy. Below. <laughs> yeah, hey now. <laughs> you know what you claim. All right. All right, so I guess we better get to the after party, right? Woo! Yeah. After yeah. party! All right, um, you guys come? All right, whatever. Let's go. All right, let's get out of here. All right. All right.